Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome to your love reading. This is the Dream Clairvoyant. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I do hope you're all doing well, feeling safe and feeling blessed because you are. So let's see how this person feels about you. I do ask that you take what resonates and leave what does not. Also remember that the cards represents energies that any gender can embody, okay? So first we have the Seven of Pentacles. Holy Spirit, thank you for guiding us. How do they feel about you? Nine of Cups. Two of Swords. How do they feel about you? Six of Cups. Okay. All right, so... The Seven of Pentacles is really a card that talks about being committed, okay? Being committed to achieving your goals, your desires. It's even a card that represents being persistent when it comes to your pursuits. And I do feel like you're dealing with an individual who is very persistent in pursuing you. This person is not going to stop. They're very dedicated, very devoted to this connection. And I do feel like they have big goals that they want to achieve with you. Looking at the Nine of Cups, the Nine of Cups is all about fulfillment, satisfaction, and success. This person, they strive to please you in every way, shape, or form. It's actually making sense now why the Seven of Pentacles came out because now what I'm hearing is this person has been persistently pursuing a connection with you in a way where I feel like they've been working overtime to make you happy. So your satisfaction, your fulfillment, your happiness is their priority. So this is the kind of person where anything that you want, you know, they're going to do their best to give it to you. This person may even like to accommodate you, making you feel cared for, making you feel nurtured and loved and giving you the best of the best. So let's look at this Nine of Cups. Very cute. Yeah, you see, you have the Empress here. You mean the world to this person. The Empress is someone who is very beautiful. Yes, very beautiful inside and out. Um, this is also someone who is very, this is like the most powerful feminine energy in the deck. So many times when people see you as an Empress, they see you as someone who's beautiful, nurturing, um, you are mature, you know, you have great self-respect. When someone sees you as an empress, they're really putting you on a pedestal. No one compares to the empress or the emperor of the deck. Those are the two most powerful energies in the deck. So you're powerful, you're beautiful, you're wise, you're abundant, you're mature. No one compares to you. Um, and so I just feel like this is someone who really does admire you. Lots of watching you here from a distance with the Page of Swords. Um, I do feel like this person observes you from a distance. I also feel like they think about you a lot when the two of you are not together. And your satisfaction is what matters to them the most. If you are happy, they're happy. You know, if you're okay, they're okay, you know? Uh, so it's very beautiful to see just how much this person loves and respects you. Let's look at the Nine of Cups. You have the Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands represents communication. It's a big communication card, um, or it can represent something that is about to, to happen very fast and, and suddenly, maybe even unexpectedly. So let's just look at this Eight of Wands here. Let me see, page of wands. Okay. The page of wands represents good news. It could even represent good idea, but I feel like this is with communication. I feel like you're about to receive some sort of message from this individual here. I do feel like with the three of cups, this person definitely wants to take you out, maybe on a romantic date. Somewhere the Three of Cups would more so be like a social outing. Um, let's look more into this Eight of Wands. I'm quite intrigued myself. Clarify the Eight of Wands. Yeah, it's romantic. Aw. You have the Knight of Cups. They have a romantic offer here. There's some sort of 
kind, warm, and inviting gesture that they're about to um, that they're about to make here, and it's to romance you. So I definitely feel like it's a date. They're just planning it right now with the two of wands. They're carrying out a plan. Okay. Um, clarify the eight of wands. Clarify the eight of wands. The ten of swords. Ten of swords is like someone who could feel very depleted. But let's see. Clarify the ten of swords. The eight of swords. Hmm. The Eight of Swords represents being in this mental prison here. I do feel like this person is exhausted, but I'm wondering what happened. Excuse me, I almost got hiccups. I'm wondering what happened here. What is this about? Oh, okay. This person, I feel that they tend to mentally exhaust themselves by thinking about you a little bit too much. I do feel like this is someone who really, really likes you, okay? It could even be love. Maybe this is someone who's deeply in love with you. Um, oh my gosh, this is a lot. This person, they're exhausted because they think a lot about you. Maybe they think a little bit too much about you and this connection, Four of Wands, this successful soulmate connection, beautiful partnership here. Four of Wands also represents a commitment. I feel like they think a lot about how they can get you to commit to them or how they can, if the two of you are in a commitment, they think about how the two of you can push forward and move things to the next level. Um, wow, this, this person here really, really really, really likes you. Hmm. And they have to, and I'm, I'm getting more about that Eight of Wands. This message that they're about to give you, this communication between the two of you, it is about a commitment here that they want with you. It is. Maybe that's what's making them a little bit nervous. The Knight of Swords. <laughs> if you say yes, if you say yes to this person, things are going to move fairly quickly. The Knight of Swords is a swift action taker. This is someone who seizes an opportunity. So if you agree, I almost feel like it's a date of some sort. I feel like it's a date. If you accept this romantic invite, oh my goodness, this person's gonna be ecstatic. And I feel like this person's definitely gonna woo you as in they're really going to romance, romance you. Wow. Yeah, the sun. Man, they're gonna be so excited. If you say yes to them, if you accept this, this gesture here, the sun is happiness, it's fulfillment, it's growth, it's expansion, <laughs> it's joy. Wow, very beautiful. Let's look at this uh, Two of Swords. Clarify the Two of Swords. The moon. So two of swords talks about being conflicted over something. Could even talk about indecision. Hmm. This person isn't sure how you would respond. They're not sure if you like them back. They're not sure how you're going to respond to this romantic gesture here. Uh, the moon is saying there, the moon represents their uncertainty. They're curious. They're curious to know. Clarify the two of swords. So if they're not sure how you're going to respond, then maybe the two of you, maybe this is a newer connection. 
just take it how it resonates if you believe this message is for you but the star the star represents wish fulfillment um I feel like this person sees you as like their dream guy or dream woman. Um, you are who they've been manifesting. They've been wanting someone like you all their life. And it would hurt them deeply if you weren't interested. I, I feel like this person knows who you are. <laughs> They know that you're the one who they've been praying and wishing for. You are their manifestation that has come to life. So it means a big deal. How you feel about them means a big deal, which is why they work so hard to impress you, to care for you, to cater to you. Yeah, this person, that's what it is. This person has been persistently catering to you. And so you mean a big deal to them. And they want things to go smoothly. They want things to go perfectly and beautifully between the two of you so that you, you would be more likely to say yes to them. You would be more likely to accept them, you know, and this romantic gesture here. I feel like this person manifested you with the King of Wands. King of Wands is someone who's very determined very driven and ambitious. I feel like this person manifested you hard. Like, <laughs> like this person was down on their knees every night, praying to God for a woman or a man like you. And now that you're here, they just wanna make sure that everything is fine, that everything's perfect. You know, it's like God has brought you to them and now they know that it, it is their responsibility to maintain this connection and do their part and be a good partner, you know, to make this connection long lasting. It's like you are a blessing, you know, who entered their life. And now it's up to them to do their part to sustain this connection. So that's why. They work so hard to make you happy. They manifested you hard. Clarify this star card here. <laughs> they manifested you. Oh my gosh. This person knows that you are exactly who they prayed for. Exactly. It's like you came in a... It's like you were a gift that was delivered to this person you entered their life as a blessing i feel like this person looks at you as someone who is just pure perfection they see you as their empress for goodness sakes no one compares to you <laughs> the queen of wands is someone who is very attractive so you don't have to worry about the attraction. It's there. You caught their eye instantly. It's almost like they recognized who you, who you are in the spirit. <laughs> this person knows who you are, by the way, because I'm hearing someone say, it's almost like they're saying, that's my woman or that's my man. Like... <laughs> And it's interesting because just seconds ago, I showed you on the back of the deck was the King of Wands. And then when I clarify the star, Queen of Wands. So maybe the two of you mutually prayed and manifested each other. Um, <laughs> yeah, this person knows who you are. And... It's beautiful, you're perfect. Like when they first saw you, oh my gosh, you're just perfect, like there's no flaw. <laughs> That's why you're showing up as the Queen of Wands because the Queen of Wands is an eye catcher. <laughs> very attractive, very polished and well put together. And this person, it's almost like they claimed you immediately because they know who you are. 
It's like you are a gift that was delivered to them. That's really how it feels from this person's uh, perspective. So beautiful, so romantic. Let's look at the death card, clarify death. The six of wands, clarify death. So, Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. So the death, uh, it represents major endings. It could even be a transformation card. Many times when you end one thing, you have, you know, you go towards the next, right? It's like when one door closes, another door opens. So many times I'll say it's a major ending that leads to transformations. Then you have the Six of Wands, victory, recognition, accomplishment. Then you have the Nine of Pentacles that's here. I feel like this individual is doing their best to transform their life for you, for this connection. There's something here about accommodation. They're making accommodations here. Like for example, if this person is often very busy and has a lot on their plate, they're doing their best to maybe balance them their life out so that they can have time to spend with you. Hmm. The Six of Wands is victory. It's recognition and the Nine of Pentacles is here. It's like it's all to win your heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that's what it is. It's all to win your heart. This person's making major changes in their life to prepare for you. They know who you are. They do. You are the one who they prayed for. And here you are. You've entered their life. And so what they're doing is it's like they're they're adding those like last minute touches, right? <laughs> um, they're polishing their life a little bit adding those last minute touches to win your heart, make, to make sure, they wanna make sure that they can win your heart. That's what it is, six of wands, they wanna be the winner. And I feel like this person has something for you with the nine of pentacles. I feel like this person really wants to impress you to <laughs> they want to impress you to so that you'll like to knock out the competition they want to stand out the most to you so they are going above and beyond to care for you to cater to you to impress you so that you won't be giving your attention to anyone but them they want you to see them as the one, just like how they see you as the one, they want you to see them that way. And now I'm getting an image of the Six of Pentacles, which is all about equal give and take. They know how they feel for you, so they want you to feel the same way for them. They want you to look at them as the star, the love of your life, because that's how they look at you. So they see you as the Empress, they want you to see them as your emperor, right? The most powerful masculine energy in the deck that no other king can even, you know, the, the emperors, all four kings put together, that no other, for example, if you're a woman, they want you to see them as the man of your dreams where no other man, man can even compare to them. Just like how they're looking at you, like no other woman compares to you, you're their empress. So they just wanna make sure that it's going to be balanced and an equal give and take. Because this person is falling for you hard. And they really like, they, they really only want your eyes on them. They want you to see them as your everything. They want you to see them as your nine of pentacles because that's how they see you. They are doing, they're really, I feel like this person is your dream lover but because they want to make sure that this goes successfully 
they're trying to really, really do some last minute uh, touches here, <laughs> you know? And it's because, look, the Five of Swords, they want all, if there's other suitors, if you're dating other people, they want to knock them out of the competition. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Let's look at the Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Everything is fine. So the Six of Cups represents uh, reunions and reconciliation, something or someone from the past making a return. That's exactly what's going to happen. They're going to make a return into your life. You guys are going to see each other again, come together again. I mean, maybe they're even going to visit you. And they're going to come in as the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who is um, a bit slow moving, but you never want someone who's going to rush into a relationship with you because many times those types of relationships, they end just as, just as quickly as they start. Um, so I like how this person has been preparing themselves, preparing their life for you to be in it. It means that they really, really do uh, want you in their life and they really do respect you in this connection where they're not going to start something with you that they can't finish. The Knight of Pentacles represents someone who finishes what they start. The Knight of Pentacles is someone who's very hardworking and dedicated. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles is someone who will ask you for your patience. Because it may take some time, but once they come into your life, they're there to stay forever. Okay, the Knight of Wands, uh, it's a hasty energy. Okay, it's a hasty energy. It's someone who moves things pretty fast, pretty quickly. So maybe right now you would want, maybe right now you want a Knight of Wands, you want that hot, fiery passion, but the Knight of Wands can sometimes be a player, can sometimes be very flighty, hot, hot and cold, in and out. Whereas the Knight of Pentacles is a slow yet steady energy and slow yet steady always wins the race. So just be careful with what you, what you want, what you're manifesting here. Okay, says everything is fine. Everything's fine. When the time is right, this person I feel is going to make the right moves to pick up the pace in this connection. So in the meantime, allow yourself to be prepared for them just as much as the divine is preparing them for you. Be open to being prepared for them. Okay. Clarify the Six of Cups. Let me see. The Hierophant and the Ace of Cups. This is the love of your life. This is what you've been wanting, the both of you. The Hierophant is a higher level commitment. It also represents marriage or it symbolizes marriage. This is a life, this is a, a life partner. This is a long-term relationship. This is like till death do us apart. Okay, sorry you guys, my phone was buzzing. This is the like the the Ace of Cups is this new, it's new love, it's new beginnings, it's joy, it's fulfillment, genuine happiness. But do you see how the cup, the water, it is overflowing out of the cup and into this body of, of water? What does that mean? This is a love that will last a lifetime. 
because it's a knight of pentacles. It's slow yet steady. This person has been learning you, observing you, catering to you. It's like they've, they've just been savoring the connection, you know, really getting into it. Not like a knight of wands who's going to rush in. There's lots of passion and lust, right? But then it doesn't last forever. Knight of wands is that in and out, that flighty energy. Those are the short and sweet relationships, those flings. But just look at how the water is coming out. It's pouring out. It's so much that it's pouring out of the cup because this person is actually learning to love you. The attraction was immediate. It was like love at first sight, which really is lust. It's attraction. So what's been happening here is the slowness is actually them learning you, learning how to be the best partner for you, learning how to love you. So when the real relationship starts, it's going to be genuine. It's not just going to be based off passion, spark, lust, sex, flirting, whatever this is. This is a commitment that's going to last forever with the Ace of Cups. The two of you will never stop loving each other is really how it looks here. If you're willing to take things nice and slow. Okay. So let's see if there's anything else. So the three of wands is waiting, waiting for that opportunity to come in, waiting for your ships to sail in, waiting for the right moment for things to take off in this connection. The, uh, the two of wands is all about carrying out a plan. But notice something, how we go from three to one. Blast, right? <laughs> I feel like that's what it's saying. I feel like you don't have to wait anymore. I feel like something's about to start here. Something's about to take up, uh, take off between the two of you. Literally, three of wands, two of wands, ace of wands. Three, two, one. Boom. Ace of pentacles. This ideal relationship, ideal connection. This is truly a blessing for the both of you. And I feel like it's here. It's now. And it's going to happen. All right. So I'm going to end the reading here. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. I really hope that you enjoyed this message. And if you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to support the channel. Okay. Thank you guys. Take care. Many blessings to you.